Have you ever heard about the Livonian Order, a medieval military order that for centuries held sway over a vast swathe of Eastern Europe? Today, we journey back in time to unravel the story of this enigmatic order, from its formation to its eventual dissolution. In the early years of the 13th century, the Livonian Brothers of the Sword, a Catholic military order, established their presence in what is now Latvia and Estonia. Their mission? To spread Christianity among the indigenous peoples of the region, often by force, in the name of the Pope. However, the Brothers' reign was not to last. In the year 1236, they faced a crushing defeat at the Battle of Seoul against the formidable pagan Samogitians. This defeat decimated their ranks, leaving them vulnerable and in need of support. Enter the Teutonic Knights, another powerful military order. They took the beleaguered brothers under their wing, merging the two orders into one. Thus, the Livonian Order was born. For the next three centuries, the Livonian Order carved out a formidable state in the Baltic region. They built mighty castles, controlled trade routes, and continued their religious mission all while navigating the complex politics of medieval Europe. Yet the Livonian order was not immune to the shifting sands of time. By the middle of the 16th century, the political landscape of Europe had changed dramatically. The Protestant Reformation had swept across the continent, weakening the Catholic Church's hold on power. Simultaneously, the powerful Russian Tsardom was expanding its borders. In a bid to control the lucrative Baltic trade, the Russians launched a war against the Livonian Order, a conflict known as the Livonian War. This war, which lasted for 25 long years, would prove to be the Order's downfall. Weakened by war and internal strife, the Livonian Order was unable to withstand the pressures of the changing world. In the year 1561, the Order was dissolved. Its lands were divided among its neighbours, marking the end of an era. In summarizing the Livonian order, it's essential to note its role in shaping the Baltic region's history. From its origins as a crusading order in the 13th century, through its golden age as a Baltic powerhouse, to its eventual dissolution in the 16th century, the Livonian order left a profound mark on Eastern Europe. The story of the Livonian order serves as a reminder of the complexities of history and the impermanence of power. It's a tale of ambition, conflict and change played out over the course of centuries. So, the next time you find yourself in the Baltic states, remember the knights who once ruled these lands and the legacy they left behind.